That would be nice, though, <laughs> right? Good warning. Good job okay. on that. <laughs> Do not be fooled. Uh, Jen, we're talking about spam, and we mentioned this a little bit earlier in the week. Are we really getting less spam? Yeah, I mean, it might not feel that way to some people, uh, but numbers from several companies that track spam uh, show that we are getting less. So um, er, uh, yesterday, uh, the computer security firm uh, Symantec came out with its June report. They track spam levels, and this is just for their own company, uh, or, sorry, for their own customers, but they showed uh, that global spam levels had fallen to levels uh, not seen since 2003. Um, now, we don't know, they didn't really say a reason for why this is happening, but we know that in Canada, uh, Canadian spam levels of of spam originating in Canada have been falling. Uh, back in April, another security firm, uh, Cloudmark, put out a study saying that that kind of spam had fallen 37 percent since July 2014, and that, of course, is when new anti-spam legislation was introduced by the federal government. Now, at the time, a lot of businesses, of course, complained about that legislation, saying that it was, you know, overly harsh and that it would stop a lot of the traditional email marketing that they had been doing. Uh, but I think these numbers show that, uh, you know, certainly the the, the type of spam that's originating in Canada is falling for Canadians. Now, of course, the question is that this legislation didn't target uh, spam that comes from outside of Canada. So if you're still seeing spam uh, coming into your inbox, you know, check, see where it's coming from. It's probably coming from, from outside of the country. I'll just keep my out of office reply on. Yeah, just keep it on all the time. <laughs> exactly. Just don't use email. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. <laughs>